dip for real. Wait till a few folks get in here. What up, cuz? How y'all's doing? What up, Creek Squad? All right. First things first. Everybody who's been checking on me, thank you very much. That means the world to me, especially right now. <laughs> um, I know everyone has been seeing this shit that's going on. Uh, I haven't wanted to really say anything on YouTube or anything lately. Um, partially because... Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Partially because it's very bizarre, for to say the least. Two, it's odd like um i don't know my mind was very blank for like a whole 24 hours when i found out all the shit that i found out and the stuff that i continue to find out but first things first it's not this is not about money okay it's about the principle and who it was doing this stuff to me that made it detrimental and made it um, very sad for myself. Um, it sucks when someone that is so close to you to the point where you come out of their body to live here on earth that would do something like this. Second off, all the shit that went through my head like like okay, well this person has like somewhat been here for me like seeing this shit happen like seeing me go to court seeing me get sued seeing all this shit happen and then they're the ones that's doing it dude that's scary that's scary and not only is it scary it's mind-boggling it just it makes you question everything you know and after looking back and seeing how both my parents have been my whole life it, 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 what, it's whatever it's whatever you know and I knew something was going on and I knew something was up with me not being invited to the ranch with me none of my family wanting to hang out with me invite me anywhere uh, I've still yet to see my my brother's kid uh I wasn't invited to the baby shower. Ain't nobody ever text me, tell me nothing about no baby shower. Um, nothing like that. Um, another thing, the fact that, the fact that she got on YouTube and called you guys a cult and a gang and shit. Like what? What? Like these are the people that have made all this happen. What? You, what in the fuck? Like. How are you going to sit in a house that Creek Squad paid for and sit here and tell them all this shit is their fault? Like, and be like, oh, everything with Ryan is y'all's fault. No, it's not their fault. What the fuck? They're out living their own fucking life. What are you talking about? They're supporting me. They're supporting the music. And they continue to support it because they obviously know that I'm not bullshitting. And all I do is work and grind. And help others but you shouldn't brag about helping others but it's just it's just the the fact of the matter and it's just it it, it was all all very weird now i just i don't know but i just want to go here and tell y'all that i'm fine uh i want to tell y'all thank you for everything you've done from 2014 to now uh and dude, don't listen to her. Y'all are not a cult. Y'all ain't bad people. I know some people, and you know, reaction pages, rightfully so, felt some type of way. And I've seen a couple videos of people being like, what the fuck? Like, we're the ones that have been helping. Yeah, you are, bro. You are. So that's why I'm saying, don't even fucking listen to what, whatever the fuck she's saying. Another thing, I thought it was hella weird when my dad chimed in. 
You guys know I'm never seen beside my dad. I'm never with my dad. There's a reason for that. Dude's a fucking joke. And I'm not just saying that. I don't know how she's going to sit here and be like, Oh, Ryan, your stepmom and your dad loves you. Y'all all fucking hate each other. You all hate each other. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And it's not like I'm just saying that, dude. There's court documents where them two motherfuckers have literally gone to court with each other for hitting each other with uh, my, uh, my dad, apparently throwing a baseball bat at my mom, cussing each other out. Bro, my dad, my dad used to, <laughs> you're gonna be like, what the fuck? You know I have asthma, right? Bro, my dad, when I was a kid, used to keep my inhaler away from me and wouldn't give it to me when I was having an asthma attack because he's so fucking stupid. He'd be like, he'd be like, oh, it's all in your head while I'm sitting there literally dying. He's that dumb. The dude has the IQ of a fucking jelly bean. <laughs> and just to think, these two motherfuckers had sex and made me? How the fuck did you make me? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. I, I, I'm, I'm smarter than both of you idiots. I'm a better person than both of you idiots. I always have been and always will be better than both of you idiots. Um, They're both capping. I don't, I don't know why she's saying, Ryan, your dad loves you. She, she, that, I've been told a different story my whole life until now. And, and the fact that, oh man. The fact that them, get on your side of the road, dingus, get on your side of the road. <laughs> Hello. Uh, the fact that they're insinuating, like, that they're, they're cool with each other all of a sudden. No, nah, you're not fooling me. You're not fooling anyone in this county. And the documents between you two fucking do flunkies prove that y'all are both full of shit. They are both full of shit. That is the first time I've ever heard my mother say your dad cares about you. <laughs> and and, and that's the thing. Their, their past tells that truth. Their actions now tell that truth. 100%. Like there, there's nothing that I have to prove. I don't have to prove anything. It's literally there for everyone to see. How's it going? It's, uh, it's there for everyone to see. And anybody with a fucking half of a brain definitely everybody who lives around here knows and yeah don't don't even fucking listen to her bro her saying that y'all are bad people and y'all are y'all are gaslighting and y'all are fucking what else did she say y'all are a cult and y'all are a gang and all this what the fuck who does that sound like to you who does that sound like to you exactly exactly she gave one of them money. <laughs> mm. It's very sad, but man, I'm grown. I'm a fucking adult. I got, I got responsibilities. I have, I have younger kids that look up to me. I, I, I'm not gonna get on here and fucking yell and scream and say a bunch of shit. I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to, I don't have to defend myself against something that I don't have to defend myself for. That's ridiculous. Uh, the ranch is destroyed. I, I'm going to have to put a lot of money in it to fix it. It is absolutely fucked. I'm going to have to put so much money into it. I, I'm trying to get back on tour. I, I have like three fucking albums that ain't out yet. Uh, I'm trying to get back out and do shows. Uh, hell record music videos even and uh, these people are just doing all this weird shit it makes no sense but i've hired a uh all, all y'all give me a, a business advice you don't i appreciate it but everything is straight uh i'm taking care of that everybody's off the accounts um all that shit everything's good everything's in my name Nobody could touch anything of mine, even though they've tried, even as of yesterday. Uh, all I can do is protect myself and protect what I've worked for. Um, it's not hard in this situation. 
once again with me, you know, my entire career, uh, my background speaks for it. Uh, my reputation the past 10 years speaks for it. Um, I'm, I'm credible. I, I can say that I'm credible. And the only reason I'm credible as much as I am is because you don't have to lie. All you got to do is tell the truth. And a lot of people are like, you shouldn't really be putting this on the internet. No, yes, I should. I, don't forget that I'm still filming a documentary. I dedicated my life to being a documentary of an artist and showing everything they go through so you can see it in real time and don't have to watch some documentary 40 years later and be like, oh man, did that really happen? No, you're getting to see it now. We ain't waiting until later. You see it now. So, yeah. Um... Where will this go? I don't know. It doesn't matter because where I'm going is up. <laughs> I'm going to continue to work like I always have. I'm going to continue to take care of my people and try to be the best role model I can for these younger upcoming kids and show them what's real and show them what happens when you have this life. And that's what I live for. And that's what I'm doing. So, Freak Squad, I'm the only person that can... I'm not the only person, but I'm, fuck it. I'm here to say right now, you guys have changed my life for the greater. That's never changed. Uh, you guys have always been there for me to pick me up. Um, y'all have always been there to encourage me to go further, and that's what y'all are doing now. Like y'all always have. Uh, y'all have never let me down. So I just want to say I love you. I want to say that I'm fine, and you have nothing to worry about. Love you guys. Y'all have a good rest of y'all's day.